guys, this is Gina, your Korean sister. We Koreans strongly follow our culture. Our unique and distinctive traditions have made us prominent in the world. Today, I'm going to introduce 10 weird but not so weird Korean culture to you. Are you ready to dive into the weird not so weird series? Then let's get started. Gotcha! Gotcha! 1. Korean Psychological Hygiene Are you curious about the hygienic psychology of Koreans? Koreans brush their teeth after every meal. We're quite conscious about our hygiene. You might find it weird, but it's all about your care. Brushing teeth is not thought of a private thing to do at home, but is a functional part of their hygienic habits. You'll notice every Korean carries their toothbrushes with them even at work. Public toilets are jam-packed with people waiting in a queue for their turn to brush after lunch. Even in public restrooms. During the day after lunch, Koreans get back to work to the office after brushing their teeth. 2. Korea is a makeup paradise. Korea is obsessed with makeup styles. There are tons of makeup styles to enhance the feature of the face, establishing a radiant beauty. It makes you feel comfortable if you're insecure about your skin. Makeup is not only a dormant of Korean women, but men have stepped into this race as well. They are fond of applying makeup to present an elegant look. There is no stigma about men using more makeup and skincare products than women. 3. Having a short trip to Korea? Don't forget to try the cosmetic products here. Korea has the best makeup manufacturing industries that produce immense high quality makeup for men and women. These skincare products enhance beauty within days. South Korea is obsessed with cosmetic surgery to define your features. If you're on a short trip to Korea, try cosmetic surgery. As Korea is the most visited country for plastic surgery to enhance looks, you will always see a sign of Songyongwekka, the plastic surgery in Korea. 4. Buying and selling dreams. If you have dreamt a positive dream and don't want it to lose its power, then don't tell it to anyone and let the charm enter your life. But if you want that good luck to pass on to your friends or family, you can exchange your dreams for money. First, you need to identify if your dream is good or bad. A good dream reflects having dragons or money while a bad dream shows a broken tooth. If you have a bad dream, tell others and let that bad fortune go. Is your dream indicating good fortune? You can trade off your positive charm in return, get cash for it. 5. Robots Did you see how humanity transformed into technology? Korea's capital and largest city, Seoul, is a stronghold for robots and artificial intelligence. It's ranked as Asia's highest robot manufacturing domain. Robots are centered in diversified fields like cooking, food delivery, security, agriculture, and architecture as well. Robots have become a mainstay of public places in Korea. They are not only a source of entertainment, bring smiles to face, but also serve people for genuine reasons. They perform their particular assigned tasks in hotels, factories, and also prisons as waiters, laborers, and as teachers in preschools. 6. Korea's Delicacies I've tried the live octopus. When we dive into Korean cuisine, you'll find rich flavors that spice up the tongue with mouth-watering delicacies. One of these delicacies is live octopus which enhances your appetite. Cooked octopus does not develop the same taste as a live one. As a result, Koreans cut up the octopus legs alive and toss with sesame oil, which brings nutty flavors. You should definitely try this daring food in Korea. 7. Kimchi Did you know 95% of Koreans eat kimchi every day? The reason behind Koreans' long lives is national cuisine called kimchi. Do you know why Koreans kickstart their day with kimchi? Kimchi is served on a beautiful platter with fermented vegetables like cabbage and radish floating in the stew with sprinkle of onions, garlic, pepper, and salt. Are you willing to relish your lips with spicy cuisine? Move on! Get kimchi to spice up your tongue. 8. Traditional Korean soup on birthdays Are you surprised that Koreans prefer soup over cake on their birthdays? No matter what age you are, eating seaweed soup on your birthday indicates an honor for mothers. It's because mothers eat seaweed soup for weeks or even months after giving birth to newborns. Seaweed soup is Korean postpartum meal. This dish is full of important ingredients that nourishes the body, improve metabolism, 
detoxifies and inhibits cancer cell production. If you have grown up and still eat this soup, it shows you have great awe for your mother. 9. Spam alert. If you're in Korea, did you receive spam as a gift? Yes, it's a spam gift. It's considered a luxurious gift in Korea. Spam is a famous canned delight. It was first introduced by the American army in Korea. Because the US troops could not store the meat or find the meat right away, they used spam, which has become a staple food in Korea. So next time, if anyone gives you spam, don't find it weird because it is totally normal to gift spam as a gift. 10. Don't use red ink. When you go to Korea, remember never write names in red ink. Koreans say a big no to red ink. Never write anyone's name with red ink as it indicates the person has died or is about to die. If someone sees you using a red pen, they will snatch your pen without hesitation. So. Remember that. If you're interested in learning more Korean culture and tradition, make sure to subscribe for more fascinating culture of Korea. Which of the Korean cultures did you think it was weird or not so weird? If you like this video, make sure to like and share to show the appreciation. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Annyeong!